So this is a beautiful little seed bed. It's a pile of elephant dung packed with nutrients and seeds which for the past few weeks has been sitting on the forest floor in the rain. And as you can see there are several species of plant growing out of it. If you look around this forest, most of the species of trees in tropical forests in Africa and Southeast Asia uh, and Latin America depend on animals to disperse their seeds. I often talk about gorillas being the gardeners of the forest and chimpanzees and orangutans, in fact all the primates, in fact all the animals that eat fruit. And of course the biggest animal that eats fruits is the elephant. That's why they've been described as the mega gardeners of the forest. And that's why ivory poaching isn't just a crime against elephants, doesn't just cause unimaginable suffering and, and cruelty to families of elephants, intelligent social mammals, the adults of which, each of whom has a brain four times the size of a human brain. That's bad enough. But where elephants are being driven to local extinction, where forests like this that depend on elephants to disperse the seeds, particularly of the trees with large seeds, seeds that can't pass through a smaller animal, they need elephants. Now these forests are carbon stores, they're oxygen generators, they're rainfall producers. And without the elephants and the other animals that eat fruit and disperse seeds, these forests are dying. That's why when you look at ivory poaching statistics, when you think of the crime of killing an animal for its front teeth, you have to think not just of the cruelty and suffering to the animal and its family, but also to the effect you're having on the planet as a whole.